Well, hello and welcome to Vloon day four. Um, I am back at the townhouse eating a very nutritious breakfast, of course. Um, I am waiting for one of the painters in the crew to come here. Uh, he said he'd be here a little bit after nine. He wanted to get some work done for the day. And then um, my friend Amanda is coming over here probably about 9.30 or so with her daughter Olivia. And then we're going to Ikea, which is exciting. So I am actually gonna buy a dining table for this area. So I will take you around Ikea. I'm gonna eat and wait for everybody to get here. And I'm really excited to show Amanda um, the space too. And I'll probably get her on camera. She's been on camera before, so I think she's gonna be okay with it. All right, well, I will check in with you guys in just a little bit. We're here, it's happening. Okay, so this is the dining table I'm gonna go with. It's the Ingetorp, maybe? I don't know, it's 329 in the white, and it actually pulls out but you can like slide it back in. I'm not gonna do it one-handed, but here is the table in the white, but I will show you a table in the black at full extension over on the other side here. So this looks like really crazy because it's actually two tables. So this is a regular table, not full extension. This is a table full extension. So the little extendable leaf is right on the end. I hope you guys can see it. It's like right there is where that seam is. Um, but yeah, I just, I think this is actually going to be really, really nice in that space. I'm very excited. Oh, there's Mandy Pants. We are done shopping finally, but we need to pick up a table downstairs. They're not ready yet. So we decided to partake in some lunchage. So Swedish meatballs for me, Swedish meatballs for Miss Olivia and mac and cheese. Yep. You don't get to choose when you're on this, by the way. I know. <laughs> What did you get, by the way? Stuffed chicken. Stuffed chicken. It looks delicious. So we're gonna eat and then um, go back to the house and unload and I will do an Ikea haul when I get back there. Hey y'all, I am back at the new townhouse and here's my Ikea haul. Um, I will, actually first, let's go into the garage and I will show you the uh, two pieces that I got. Uh, one is a piece of furniture, that table I already showed you, and then I actually picked up a mirror as well. Ooh, let's take a look here. Um, so this is the mirror that I got. Let me do this a little bit better. This is the Hovet mirror, H-O-V-E-T. I will leave a link below if I can find it on the IKEA website. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging yet because I am doing some painting upstairs, which is where it's going to go. This is the dining table. And then that is other parts of my dining table as well. And then it is the, um, if you want to know, it's the Ingetorp in the white. And it's the rectangular version. I know previously I had posted, I think it was an Instagram, about like what, whoa, about what, um, dining chair you guys preferred and I showed a oval or a circular table. I decided to go against that just because I felt like that didn't fit the space as well. So I just wanted something that had like squared up edges, but it is gonna be a rectangle um, even without the leaf. So I'm very excited about that. So let's go over all of the things that I got at Ikea today. All right, so I actually got an Ikea bag, which I didn't end up using, but whatever. Um, okay, so I got this, and this is uh, a god egg. Um, this is a placemat. I figured this would be nice for on the floor with um, like Doyle's dishes and stuff. And then um, for underneath that, just to like soak up any moisture that might come along, these are just some cork placemats. And if you guys want to know, it is the Abskid. I don't know how to say any of the stuff, you guys, so I apologize. Um, all right, so I got a bunch of these containers, and I don't know what line this is. Let me just look really quick. Does it say anything on there? Oh, it is the Horkin. Um, I figured these would be nice for like some of my dry stuff, like my pastas and rices and stuff. Um, my girlfriend that was with me, Amanda, she said that she uses these for her pastas, and I was like, oh, that's such a great idea to not have just like random, you know, boxes of stuff everywhere. So this is like a longer one for just, you know, like your angel hair or your actual like spaghetti. And then I got two of, whoops, those are not the same size. I pretty much got two of every container, to be completely honest. So here's my two little kind of like mid-size. I've got 
two of the bigger size, this one right here, and then I've got two of the little like shorties like this, but I just like that they're sealed and you know, I don't know, just makes me feel better. And I love like a good clear jar and I might actually end up like putting labels on these at some point as to like what they are. Um, I also got these Ikea bags. They're, that's the name of the bag, but they are, I don't know, these are just some bags. They're like a two point or a three quart and a one quart is what these are. And then I got some smaller ones and this is the same brand, but it's a 34 ounce and then a 14 ounce. So like a one liter and a 0.4 liter. So yeah, and then I got these. Um, I'm a big fan of cork coasters. However, um, my cork coasters that I currently have are flat and I do like that there's a little lip on these. So like the moisture and stuff that's in them. Let's see, I don't know. I don't know what brand this is. It just says two times Ikea 365 plus. Um, I don't know. I don't know you guys, but I got two of these because I do have a bunch of cork coasters that I can use for other things. But when I have like water bottles and things like that, that produce a lot of condensation, I figured those, these would be kind of nice. And then this is actually the first thing I picked up. There's three bins, but they have, they're on casters. You guys, I actually found these in the children's department and I got the clear ones. There was a bunch of different other colors and then, um, the, tops are right over here. But the nice thing is you can stack these as well because when you put the tops on, there's like actually like a little divot for another caster to go onto if you don't wanna do that. So I figured that these would actually look really nice in the closet over here um, on the floor. So either I'm gonna put them all on the floor or I'm just gonna like stack three of them together. So yeah, but that is it for the Ikea haul. Hope you guys enjoyed the Ikea haul. Also, I totally forgot to mention this this morning, but I am finally, for the first time, wearing my clean and dirty t-shirt. It says clean body, dirty mind, which is, by the way, hilarious. Um, I will leave a link to her Etsy shop below. She does all natural products, and she came out with these kind of like, I don't know if they're limited edition, but she came out with all these like really funny shirts, so. I was excited. Also, there's something else that I'm wearing that's very different for me. I'm wearing a watch today. I will link this uh, shop down below. Um, I actually just got this in the mail yesterday, but um, this is my first day wearing it, and I kind of, I kind of love it, you guys. It's really cool. So I'll just, I'll leave it linked below, and I'll put down exactly which one that um, I ended up getting. So. Anyway, if you guys are interested, but I've been loving it. I've been loving wearing a watch. It's kind of cool to have like a little bit of weight on your arm. I don't know. But I never wear a watch, but this is going to be kind of a cool watch journey. So I'm going to wear it tomorrow too. But anyway, I need to run over to the store and grab some degreaser because my mom and uncle, and actually I had two uncles over here today. Two of my mom's brothers came over here today because they were interested to see the place. And then um, because of some flooring prep, this is gonna be happening after the painters are gone, but they were just available. My fridge is now gone, because it's out in the um, garage, and then my stove is gone as well, and that's out in the garage. But there's some major degreasing that needs to happen. These are the original appliances, and I don't know if they were ever moved, ever, but um, the 409 is just not cutting it, is what my mom was saying, so I am gonna go grab some degreaser and bring it back to the house. Actually, no, I'm gonna bring it back to my parents' place because I'm not gonna come back here for the rest of the day, I don't think because I need to do some YouTube work. I still haven't even edited or uploaded any of my footage from yesterday's vlog, so I gotta get that up. And I have to film my Financial Friday as well as my plan with me, which I need to do when I get home. So anyway, I am gonna leave here and I will check in with you guys in just a little while. I see you, Doyle. Doyle is begging for my food because I've got Subway in here right now. Uh, don't mind the mess, I am in the process of trying to move. So I am going to end out the vlog for today. I am currently trying to upload, or not upload, actually edit for the first time because I have been out all day. As you guys saw, I was at Ikea with my friend Amanda and back at the house and I ran around and did a couple of little things that I didn't vlog because, you know, picking up cleaner at Menards is not vlog worthy, I don't think. But 
Anyway, I am gonna jet. Um, I just did some filming as well, so that is all done and in my computer, so I am gonna get the vlog up tonight for you guys, and then um, I am gonna work on my plan with me, which will be up at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow as normal. So anyway, I am gonna go for now, but I hope you guys have a great day and are enjoying the vlogs, and I will see you guys tomorrow for two videos. <laughs> Bye, guys.